I'm Beverly. I'm Kate. And I'm Sonia. And today we're dishing with you at the Melting Pot at 1220 19th Street Northwest. And we are dishing some fabulous fondue. Today we have things from the big night out. Today we have Boston Lager Cheddar Cheese Fondue, which is basically yummy hot cheese. I think there's some spices in there and all I know is that it's yeah. really, really good. Really good. The Big Night Out is actually a four-course uh, fondue menu that's paired with wine or with beer, and they change it biannually. So this one is actually an exploration of the United States. And they have some desserts as well. So oh, we're in Boston. Yeah. And later we're going to try the Chocolate Wildberry Crunch, which is their take on peanut butter and jelly. Ooh. Great place to come for Valentine's Day. A great place to come with friends. It's that's just a, great a place, place to share. And today our guest is the very vocal and <laughs> jazz vocal, Aquia Ulrich. She is with us um, not to sing today, but to talk. And maybe we'll get her to sing a little bit later. Uh -huh. <laughs> but um, you've, got a, you've got a new, um, well, I call it a CD. I know you guys call them an okay, album, an album, LP, all kinds of things these days. But you've got a, um, a new one, and you are just tearing up the local DC scene. Wow. So you really are. I mean, I have heard about you three times in the last week. So, oh, man. You know, you may not know so your PR people. agent is doing hey. great job. So. <laughs> so, <laughs> so you're local, and you sing yeah. jazz, which is great. Yes. Because we have heard that jazz is like DC's thing. Right. So why did you decide to start singing jazz music? Well, I didn't have much of a choice. My dad is a jazz musician, and I was inundated with it throughout my life. Um, I fought it for a while until I got to college. and Fought it by not doing it at all or by I doing a different genre? I just didn't want to hear it. Okay. And I didn't know I wanted to sing until I failed all of my biology courses. So you were going to be a doctor? I was going to be a doctor like my mom. Oh. Yep. Um, at Howard yeah, University. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And mom said, just do what you love. And so I went to uh, the jazz vocal department at Howard University and excelled. And the rest is history. Well, I took a break because I wasn't ready for the life of a musician. I didn't like it. Had started my family and about three years ago, my husband said, you have to do this. Now, tell us about, you said you don't like the life of yeah, a musician. I want to hear what, is, what, is, yeah. what is the life Talk of a musician? Talk about that life. <laughs> yeah. There's some of us who think it could be pretty exciting. Yeah. Well, it looks can be deceiving. It's, um, <laughs> it's as with any art, it's a hustle. It's a, it can be very grueling. Um, and um, there isn't a lot of money in the arts. It, there's a lot of Not pomp and circumstance. Lots and lots uh -huh. of well, you have to pay your musicians. Yeah, right? you, you have, have to, to pay, pay everybody. Um, you have to pay everybody. So uh, it, there's more gratification in the fact that you can send a message that you love and you can do what you love. And it's wonderful if you can get paid for it um, and paid well. But, uh, you know, I think what it does for me is it allows me to speak to people and to speak for people. And I was raised... Um, that art isn't just for art's sake, it's for a purpose. And so that's what I'm doing, and it's, it's been wonderful. My album came out in 2010. Ah. So I'm working on the, the newest new one. one, yeah, and uh, it's going to be fan funded. I'm raising funds oh, wow. right now on PledgeMusic.com. So <laughs> pledge for me. So where are you performing around town? Oh uh, well, actually, I have a, a gig on Valentine's Day, February 14th, at Bohemian Caverns. Oh fun! Um, that is going to be absolutely wonderful. People should get their tickets as soon as possible because it's going to sell out. Now, I'm sure that your dad was an inspiration, but oh are there God, other yeah. artists that people would recognize that oh, yeah. maybe influence your style? Yeah, definitely um, Nina Simone, Mary McKay, but people who know me know that because I do a, a tribute to them every summer. Mm -hmm. um, and I would say Nancy Wilson, she's so smooth, and <laughs> Sarah Vaughn, Anita Baker, uh -huh. my favorites. So are you, are you writing your own? Yeah. That's 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 big for me. And I, do you play I, an I, instrument as well? Mm, uh, your instrument you is your voice. <laughs> okay. Yes, I play at the piano. I'm working on that so I can be able to perform a little bit more with the piano. I have a little something, but not 
not up to my standards. Okay, so you have a lot of musician friends oh, that yeah. are working with you. Oh, it's a wonderful, wonderful musician. So yeah. we started asking about, you know, the tough life of, of, uh, of a musician, mm -hmm. and now we're using new media to fund your, your yeah. endeavors. Yeah. How does that differ from going with like a, I guess with a label and having them work with you? Is there any difference? Uh, well, the, the biggest difference is that you have a budget when you're working with a, a record label. That, I think that's the the biggest difficulty as an independent artist is you have to raise your own funds. Mm -hmm. um, the whole fan-funded movement is really good because you involve people who support you anyway. It's difficult to ask for help though. Right. But you know, you involve people and they feel like they're a part of your, your project. Does it change the music at all? What you create? I think so. I do. I think so. Um, particularly as an independent artist. If I were on a record label, I wouldn't have as much say so. I would have to run it by somebody mm -hmm. who's mm -hmm. trying to make my image into something that I don't want to be. But isn't there an upside that you get all the money? You don't have to yeah. share with <laughs> Look, some record label. I can't pretend like uh, it, it's, there isn't a, an upside. You mean as an independent artist? Exactly. Oh my goodness, yeah. It's, it's so gratifying. Mm -hmm. I am the one who, who runs it. It's my business, so it, that's, that's awesome. So you're going to be playing at Bohemian Caverns. Yes. I'm sure there's some other places in town that you have played. Yeah. Do you have like an ultimate goal of if I if I get to perform there, then I will have made it? <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> Ooh. Does it have to be in DC? No, wherever. Everywhere. Anywhere. Wherever. Oh God. DC would be nice though, because I think you make it when you perform in DC. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. I love it. I don't know. I I really would love to perform at some major international festivals. That's that's like big for me. And to perform with some really prolific musicians, that's that's one of my goals. Well, DC really pushes its jazz musicians um, and, and really promotes them really well. So I think you're in a, in a great place for what you've chosen to do. Yeah. And yes, it came from your father, yes. but it's really in you too. Yeah. So congratulations on <laughs> Thank everything you've done. Thank you so you've much. Thank we look you. forward to hearing more from you. That the many times I've been hearing about you already. So you awesome. must just be climbing that ladder. Climbing yes, they should visit my website at www.aquiaalbridge.com. Well, we're we're gonna <laughs> enjoy our blood orange martinis here. Do you want to sing us a? a oh song? yeah, yes, sing us absolutely. Oh, what's a good what? martini song? What am I singing? Can you sing any more, anything you want. Anything it's too bad you can't sing oh, anything, anything you goodness. want from from You're any. You're so late getting home from the office. Did you miss your train? Maybe you were caught in the rain. No, don't bother to explain. Can I fix you a quick martini? As a matter of fact, I'll have one with you. Or to tell you the truth, I've had quite a day too. Excellent. Thank you for being with us here on this episode of The District Dish.